Hello again, Desasante here from the Tech Muse Academy with another MixLessons.com video quick tip. Uh, this one comes uh, again from another Gearsluts.com forum member. Um, and the question is a real simple one. So it's going to be short and sweet today. Um, yes, I'm about to buy a USB audio interface. I haven't decided which yet, but that doesn't matter for now. I already have a MIDI USB interface, uh, which of course connects directly to the computer via USB. My question is this. If I use a USB audio interface, will I still be able to use my MIDI interface at the same time? Or do I have to buy an audio interface that has MIDI ports on it? Thank you very much. Well, it's a simple answer is that yes, they will both work simultaneously. In your DAW, as most DAWs do, DAW for those who don't know is Digital Audio Workstation, it's just a, a short form. Um, you can, it will actually detect any MIDI ports coming into the computer, whether they be USB or whether they be built into your audio interface. And it will also detect any audio inputs connected to your computer as well. If you have more than one audio device, you will have to specify which device you want to be using inside your, um, your Digital Audio Workstation. Um, um, but once you've done that, it should detect both audio analog inputs and outputs as well as your MIDI ports, regardless of whether they are on your uh, your interface or on a external device, another separate USB audio interface. Um, so hopefully that helps. And again, that was a real simple one, but I thought, you know what, the question was asked and I had the answer. So I figured I would share that with you. Um, just before we wrap it up for today, I wanted to, um, to draw some attention to some people who have left me some excellent feedback. And so I think every so often when they come in, I, uh, I like to give credit where credit is due and say thanks for the positive and kind feedback. Um, this one comes from a MixLessons.com subscriber named Dabin Lamming, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I apologize if I'm not. And he says, first of all, he left a five-star review, which I definitely appreciate. And he goes on to say this, intensely awesome. I think you hit the nail on the head with the suggestion that right from the start, you need to begin to try to understand what a mix is, the elements of a mix, and what you are trying to achieve in the end. Only then will you be able to properly implement the tools you are provided without being totally bewildered as to whether or not you are improving your mix as you go. A lot of little things clicked as I watched your first four videos, and I am really hoping that I can make the enrollment before it fills up. The emotional movement aspect was definitely an aha moment. I would create the tracks bearing in mind that I need to keep it dynamic and diverse to retain the interest of any listeners, but disregarded the fact that I must apply that on a larger scale to the whole mix with the same type of criticism for interestingness. Thanks, Des. And I appreciate that kind of feedback. I'm really, really glad that you have gotten something of benefit out of the um, out of the the course at mixlessons.com for those of you who don't know or haven't already done so head to mixlessons.com now throw your email on the email list and i will send you via email the three simple steps to amazing home recordings video series that was referred to in this very kind five-star review and until next time enjoy and happy mixing <laughs>